We back with another one. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. Early morning grind. You know how we do. Uh, by the end of the boxing clinic. Real talk. And uh, apparently the, the Furies. Peter Fury and his son Huey Fury. Um, are pretty much looking past Joseph Parker. You know. Um, you know. I, I can't. Can't understate this one. You know. They already negotiating his first title defense versus David Hay. Now, maybe they feel so confident because it's in the UK. And uh, anytime you go to somebody's hometown, even if you're the champion and not the champion, in Joseph Con- Joseph Parker case, he's the champion. Um, you I, I always say you start at least two or three points behind. And you know Joseph Parker's been underperforming for you know the last few last few since the Carlos Takem fight. It was a lot of promise. A lot of people was high on him. Um, but I was looking forward to. Um, him blasting on Andy Ruiz, um, it didn't, it, it, I mean, it was a close fight, a lot of people thought Ruiz won, um, but, you know, Parker got the nod, it was in his hometown, so, of course, Huey Fury is going to try to return the favor, um, so, you know, Joseph Parker got to come up there, uh, come out there aggressive, you know, he, he got this to- the tools, man, he got the tools, he got the speed, he got some power, he got the size, um, he got some skills, just putting it all together for Joseph Parker. Fury Fury, man, I haven't watched a lot of him, but I'm just really not impressed. Um, he's not as skilled as Tyson Fury, but um, he's not, I don't know. I'm just not impressed with him. Um, I would favor Joseph Parker here, just off a knee-jerk reaction. But, um, you know, we're fighting in the UK. Joseph Parker got an uphill battle. And David Hay is a sneaky motherfucker right here. Uh, apparently, Tony Bell, you tried to, um, you know, lowball him with a rematch offer, thinking David Hay nowhere, had nowhere else to go. Now, David Hay is playing both sides of the field in his WBO title, title shot. Um, he's offered his security team, as I already told you, to Joseph Parker, offered him to train at his gym for free, you know, offered to set him up with living accommodations while he gets ready for his fight with Huey Fury in the UK. Um, and he, I told you guys, it had to be something behind that, you know, um, with him blasting out Anthony Joshua, rightfully so, um, because there's really no difference between none of the top heavyweights. I don't care what nobody say. Um, all these guys are pretty much fraudulent, you know, until, you know, until they actually start fighting each other, but, you know, I told you he's trying to get in good with Joseph Parker and get that WBO title shot, and that's what he's trying to do, he already negotiating with, with, with Fury Fury and Peter Fury, and now, you know, like I told you, he's trying to get in good graces with Joe, or, uh, Joe, uh, Joseph Parker, so, you know, it's like he's gonna get a title shot, you know, after coming off the Achilles injury, you know, they probably look at him as food anyway. Uh, he come off a killing injury, 36 years old, you know, you know, um, got beat by a, a light heavyweight, then turned cruiserweight, then a blew up heavyweight, and Tony Bellew. So, you know, both of these guys, you know, feeling good about their chances of, uh, you know, getting a, a, a hometown fight for Fury Fury if he beats Joseph Parker in the UK. Joseph Parker trying to become a house, household name in the UK because it brings more money. So it makes sense. You know, these two were supposed to fight before Fury Fury and, um, and Joseph Parker, but Peter Fury had a felony, and he wasn't allowed to come to New Zealand. So, um, you know, they pulled out and tried to fake an injury. And, uh, you know, Parker fought that Roddick guy, you know, underperformed once again. So, Fury Fury is feeling good about his chances. But one person that's not happy is Tyson Fury. You know, Tyson Fury and David Hay was supposed to fight a couple years ago. David Hay pulled out, you know, like a month before the fight, above, a few weeks before the fight, I think. And it cost Tyson Fury millions of dollars in his purse. And, you know, Tyson Fury is still pissed off at David Hay. And he he, he tweeted or posted on social media that um, he was, his displeasure with Huey Fury and Peter Fury, um, you know, even considering fighting David Hay when they don't even have to do business with him. After making after David Hay making Tyson Fury lose million dollars in, in, in purses and setting him back financially, um... He ain't feeling David Hay. He said, why would you, you know, basically negotiate with this pussy? That's basically what he said. I'm paraphrasing. And, um, you know, he, he watches his pleasure with him. He right. You know, this dude is notorious for pulling out and, and, and joking and, and, and underperforming. Um, you know, I understand it's a good domestic class for Huey Fury. First title defense makes some noise. And it's a winnable fight. But if the dude going to pull out and put you and set you back financially like he did Tyson... You know, you see how you do it. Tyson, why do you think he won't do you that way? You know? So, it is what it is. Um, 
Hopefully, Harry Fury uh, don't go that route. Hopefully, Joseph Parker don't go that route. But it looks like the winner is going to take on David Hay because he uh, finessed his way in there. He got that new TV deal with Ring Star Sports and Richard Schaefer. So, he got some pull. He got some clout. Uh, Tony Bell, you thought he had no other way to go but to fight him. And David Hay showed him that he's a motherfucking classic motherfucking businessman. And when there ain't no way, he made a way. So, you know, it is what it is. We gone.